that Monday Meltdown 62. This is Losers Round 6 between DX17 and Knives. We're going to Lilac. Cloud versus Rosa. Traditionally one of Rosa's worst MUs due to, due to swords. Rosa doesn't like swords. Um, but um, Cloud's recovery is going to be very capable for Rosa. So maybe even more so on a stage like Lilac. But there's that limit side piece, they're going to kill? Wow, already 26% taken and DX's stock has been destroyed. So Knives off to a very strong start, but Cloud is combo meat. We shall see if DX manages to pull this one back into his favor, or at least make it even. There's the forward throw. Jab grab. Forward smash, and that's gonna kill us. Just as I said, DX has pulled the game right back to even. Two stocks apiece. Knives though, back on the attack, looking to revenge. Knives trying to break away in percent here, but DX has got him off stage drop. Never mind. Limit side view on shield. Knives throwing out many hitboxes there, stopping DX from approaching his space. Up throw, up air. Jab. Oh, doesn't manage to get that wild up smash. And there's that recovery. Unfortunately, it traded, so that wasn't in DX's favor because it allowed Stout Cloud to get back to the stage. Boom! Oh, that was an extremely strange occurrence. I'm not too sure why that happened, why it gave killing icon either. But here we are, they're both on high percent. It just let's see who gets this first stock. Luma is out of play. Ah, uh, he misses the up smash, gets punished right off the top. DX looking to seal off this stock as fast as possible. Knives looking to hold on to their life. I think that limit side B was used not to clip but in order to stop DX from holding the ledge. So if that was the case, a good play from Knives there. He manages to pull him, pull down on the side of the up B, knocking DX away, allowing him to maintain that side of the stage. Turns around with side B, interesting. But unfortunately he gets that up smash landing. That's just it. Cloud manages to destroy Luma right there. Pulls down again, making sure he's knocking DX away from the ledge. Right now, he is in control of stage. He manages to stop Rose's recovery. Now it's very scary for both characters. DX trying not to die, not yet. Trying to get past Cloud's massive sword. Again, Knives stopping DX from grabbing that ledge. He's landed. Nope. He's finished the limit blade B, but DX has flubbed his recovery. Unfortunate SD in a very important situation. Unfortunately, he's going to lose that match. Game one going to Knives. Uh, DX goes for his favorite counter pick, Three, two, Dark Hunt, go! trying to make use of that low ceiling and all this space. Maybe in case Luma dies, you will have time to 
get distance of one cloud and stall out Lumen's recovery time. But here we go, Lumen's gone. Pulls him down, up smash. Oh, DX shoots right himself, shoots himself right to the other side of the stage. Luma's back. And uh, no, no player has any momentum advantage right now. They're both trying to just play the neutral. Cloud getting rid of Luma as often as possible. Down tilt, reads air dodges and catches him with the limit side B. Good play from Knives there. Taking that first off again, DX is going to have to work hard. Oh wow, he gets a charge forward smash, dealing a lot of damage. Down tilt. Gets the grab. Luma's back. Oh, DX doesn't manage to... Uh, successfully end guard there and another limit side B still living though would have been a disaster had that stock been taken up throw up air Ooh, doesn't manage to get the second up air could potentially have killed had it been strong here and then up smash from Luma it's gonna take that stock DX had an 80% deficit. Fortunately, he didn't lose that stock before. He seriously needs to make a huge comeback. If he loses this stock while Cloud is on low percent, he will struggle on his final stock. Luma again out of play. Now he's being really efficient in taking out Luma. Forward throw. And he pulls down. This time, DX is ready for it. He gets the up smash. Weak hit, though. I was trying to keep DX out of space, but DX is managing to get his way in. Oh, there's that up air. Sends Rosa scarily high. Ooh, DX throws out a risky there, challenging up air in that situation. Here's the back throw. DX managed to actually pull his way back and is in front in percent. Fortunately, he gets hit by the tip of that forward there. And this back throw is going to be it, yeah? No, Cloud's still winning. I mean, living. And that limit cross slash, I mean, limit late beam taking DX's stock. How unfortunate. DX really worked hard to bring that back, but now he's just running away with it again. But here we go. Oh, Knives hold shield, stays patient. Back air. Doesn't manage to convert to fair. Trying to get the cheeky uh, rage spike on DX there. Knives now not really committing to uh, any crazy attacks right now. Oh, maybe he should have wall jumped up B instead. Who knows? But unfortunately, Knives has lost his stock. That was an important stock for Knives. He needed to hold on to it for as long as possible. Now DX is just back in this game. DX is looking to take it to a game three. There's that cross slash. Oh, it's very scary here. How was Knives going to react? DX decides to go for the risky roll. He chooses the right option. Doesn't get hit by that cross slash limit. Would have definitely killed at that position. DX again it goes off stage. He gives up stage control for it. Knives trying to space with bears and dares. DX got the back throw. Really struggling to catch Knives landing. He does get the up smash though. Back throw. He has to be very careful. I wonder what that down B was for. In case of maybe of a limit post, uh, a limit blade beam, that side B, that down B would have gotten rid of it. He's got the throw. He gets the up air. And with a fist pump, DX takes game two.
Knives takes it right back to Lilac for game three. Having won here on game one, he feels like this is the stage for him. He did do very well against DX here, but DX did um, get the unfortunate SD. We shall see how DX copes with this situation. Down throw. Get that cheeky slip of the dare. And there's a cross dash. DX decides to fade back. There's the grab back throw. Ooh, doesn't manage to convert. Still keeping Cloud at the ledge though. Trying to edge his way towards that ledge. Putting Luma into a better position. Oh, there's a down smash. Slope to DX right off to the side. There is so much pressure from Knives right now, and he manages to take the first take the first off of the side tilt. Knives is trying to keep his feet on the ground. Not jumping around so much on this stage. Again, Luma is gone. What for? ZX taking his time, making sure that he doesn't overcommit right now. He does want the stock, but he doesn't want to be too aggressive in order to save. Oh, the stalling of the moves hitbox by the Luma um, tricks DX and he runs into it. Nice is 167, this is some serious rage. Could be a limit with kill Rosa at this point. Oh, he's got the grab. He grabs the releases. Gets that strong hit there. DX still living though. Very scary position for DX. Oh, and a crazy trade leads to the death of both of them. That tr trade was probably in Nimes' same favor purely because he's a stock up. If he can pull this one back. Really problematic as uh, now he's just, just getting rid of the excess blue mile very, very often, very often. There's the side to stop um, that dash uh, that was up. Give it blade beam. It's already looking die up the X right now. But he's got the grab up air. Oh, and that the reverse up air from Cloud is gonna take the game for Knives. Knives very solidly takes it 2-1 over DX17.